we've seen chronically meaningful activity in a substantial number of patients. And as we have now a series of 135 patients followed between seven months and a year and a half, we can start to get a sense of what's the response rate and the durability of response. The overall response rate by risk criteria with confirmation of responses is 38%. The great majority of the responses, 90%, are durable up to date. They, the patients have not progressed. There's different dosing regimens, and at the highest dose cohort, the response rate by the same criteria is 52%, which tells us that we're getting with a single agent immunotherapeutic, something that doesn't do anything to the cancer but stimulates the immune system, it's getting to levels that we can never go before. The drawback is minimal. There's most of the treatment-related birth effects are grade one and two, diarrhea, skin rash, fatigue, uh, uh, pruritus. In grade three to four events are minimal. Uh, there are, I will call the, the will be number, there's 12.6 percent. So that's a very low frequency of grade three to four adverse events compared, compared to any other therapy that we use in oncology.